Phone Harold. Phone Harold. Hacks. Ring a ding ding, you got the kings. Welcome to another episode of the Phone Hacks podcast with me, Mike Goldstein, and the Pedro to my Napoleon Dynamite, Nick Capper. How are you, Nick? Yes, yes. Vote for Pedro. All right. Yeah. Shouldn't should we swap it over? How so? Because I'm more Napoleon looking. Yeah, that's true. You know? And what are you saying? I ah, uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know. What's he do? He goes ah. Tina. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Tots. Yeah. Yeah, man. Ligers um, and yeah. all the rest. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it. We should introduce our guest anyways before we get too far in uh the fantastic andy lee is with us today oh, cap <laughs> did it was i respectful in like letting you guys go for a bit without like doing yeah, a giggle yeah. or jumping because you yeah. know I, it always annoys me when guests aren't introduced and then they start chatting and trying to join in the fun <laughs> i think i think it's a responsibility of the guest <laughs> to sit by and let the intro take its course yeah, yeah. but as you could tell the, the riff was going nowhere <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, oh, yeah. we know where the riff's dead oh, like, <laughs> quick bail us out Andy. if you hadn't have brought me in i would have left <laughs> Perfect opportunity. <laughs> you missed your window. Now you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Just walks out, man. He's, <laughs> this rip's too gold. <laughs> oh, man, thanks so much for coming on today. This is so good. Yeah. This is so good. I'm yeah. excited to be here. Yeah. And, and do you, you know why I'm here, Mike. <laughs> well, I think... Because th- Cap knows definitely why I'm <laughs> Yeah. Here. Well, because, I mean, unwittingly, you were you were uh, involved in the podcast a yes. few episodes ago. I think that was the Ari Shafir episode. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had done, a, you know, a very jealous <laughs> tweet. Um, did you ever see the message on Instagram? I d- don't think I did because yeah. here's what happened is, is Cap has contacted me and said, yeah. hey... We're looking. Did you see this? Because yeah. it could be a funny follow up for the podcast. And yeah. I was like, No, nah, no. Nah, what, what am I yeah. looking for? And then he said, Oh, you're looking for a direct message. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, fuck. Like, yeah. okay. So I'll go into all requests, but I never look at these things. Yeah. And um, there's gonna there's generally a few in there. So I'll do some digging. And, and I said, how, Can you give me an idea of how long ago? Because that yeah. might help me kind of get to the Filter point. Filter it out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, uh, among all the high school kids wanting their, their year 12 formal, like a video going, Hey, good luck with your formal or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You wait through a few of those. And then a few people saying, I'm starting a new charity. And like, all charities have started. Don't worry. Don't start a new one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. just find the one that you, that's already out there that you really like and, yeah. and lend support to them. So when you go through all those, then you, yeah, you find the direct messages from, say, Mike, but I couldn't find it. Yeah, ah. well, because to pro- provide some context for anyone who hasn't listened to the Ari Shafir episode, uh, Capper, well, basically, we'll go back even further. <laughs> um, you had posted a challenge yeah. of hitting a tennis ball over the house, running through the house, catching yeah. it on the other side, yeah. right? And then I had tweeted... Um, I screenshotted that and then I <laughs> tweeted, fun challenge for everyone, hit tennis ball over beachside mansion <laughs> and catch it before it lands in your infinity pool. <laughs> right? Which is fucking <laughs> dickish. <laughs> shit is dickish. No, I, I think I saw that tweet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I liked it. Did yeah. you? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 I mean, Hamish and I have got a running joke on the podcast at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Anyone who would look at our comments would think, fuck, these people hate these guys. Yeah. But we've got a, a running joke on our podcast at the moment is anytime someone's lost touch with a common man, we've got to call them out. But oh. Hamish and I find it all the time in each other and just go, hey, you've lost touch with the common man. Like I go, what's, you know, how much does rice cost at the supermarket? And he's like, um, no, I don't know, five, 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 20, 3.40, you've lost touch with the common man. <laughs> I'll, ask, oh yeah, I'll ask my servant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so anything we post ever, people... I just lay on lost touch with the common man or yeah, stuff, which right. I love. And but but if you didn't know the podcast, you'd be looking through that going, Oh God, people yeah. really dislike Hamish and Andy. Yeah. But um and they probably do as well. But the <laughs> when I saw yours, Mike, I just thought it was someone going, Yeah, cool, let's get on get on board this challenge. <laughs> You truly have lost touch. (laughs) (laughs) Lost touch with irony, man. (laughs) So the tweet, whatever, you know, got some traction, I guess. But then um, uh, Capper had me. By the way, you don't need an infinity pool to do the challenge. I was going to clarify that when I saw the tweet. (laughs) I was like, you can have any type of pool. (laughs) I mean, infinity's great, but yeah, yeah, any type of pool. (laughs) I know. You know, they still had little pools at Kmart. Yeah, 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 exactly. You do need a house. Like, I tried it in my 
my apartment just fucking didn't work <laughs> <it> at all. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But um, so I'll say the premise of the show because that explains what yeah. Capper had me do. Uh, we all swap phones. The spinning wheel decides whether to go through draft tweets, camera roll, notes, or search history. Yeah. Uh, but then at the end of the show, we send out like hacks. We do hacks on socials. Yeah. Um, so Capper had me direct message you uh, with a screenshot <laughs> of my tweet. And it said, sorry about this man, just real scared with everything going on. Hope we can hang soon and banter it up. Peace, MG. <laughs> so, did, I mean, did it say I've seen that? No, no, no. That's no. the thing. Like, after about a week, I remembered when the episode yeah. came out. And I was like, fuck, I don't want Andy to read this shit. So, <laughs> in direct messages, you know, you can pull it before the other person's seen it. Right. So, I not only I guess, apologize for the initial tweet, but for mainly for making you read your request folder. <laughs> <laughs> that was looking that, for it. That was the great move. I, yeah. I, I, so, you'd already pulled it. Yeah. When he asked me to look for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that, he, that he was going to be that. tough fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And it was so, because I was like, I don't want to tell Mike. No, no. I we, just wanted you to reply back going, yeah. fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that was the excitement for me. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, the consolation prize is being on the podcast to tell, say fuck you to your face. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> this is great. This is like a WTF Mark Maron <laughs> yeah. beef settling episode. Yeah. <laughs> but it would have been, I would have much preferred to have fucked with you online yeah. because yeah. the worry that you can ensue in people. Oh, that yeah. would have been great. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I regret pulling it because the capper sends me a message going, oh, you know, what happened? Did you ever post it? Yeah. And I sent him because I'm like, oh, I got the screenshot. I'm safe. Not knowing that he had told you to, to yeah. find it. And yeah. So you know, Do you know what I actually think it boils down to? Mm. Um, so Mike wasn't that angry about COVID, even though he lost so much money, he had to cancel his wedding. Yeah. You know what he's angry about the most? What's that? That they closed tennis courts down. <laughs> so he's seen, well, so he's maybe. seen some other guy playing tennis <laughs> and he's fucking livid. Well, honestly, <laughs> maybe that, that actually speaks to the fact that there was some inherent jealousy for Andy because during the Australian Open this year, yeah. you were playing Guess Who with yeah. like Fed and all these legends of tennis. So probably then when I saw the <laughs> tennis ball over the house, I was like, like, yeah, fuck, that's enough. <laughs> his, his fiance actually told me she was like, "It's the worst I've seen him when they closed the tennis." Are you, are you, you that into tennis? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it was because yeah. once they closed gyms and tennis courts and you know parks yeah. and everything, really, uh, I was just worried about becoming a sack of shit yeah. you know, during lockdown and quarantine and then not being able to play tennis which is naturally a social distancing sport yeah. seemed excessive and ridiculous but yeah. she did say that I was more upset about the tennis courts than our wedding <laughs> <laughs> than being cancelled <laughs> yeah. oh man well I mean I, I normally play against a uh, ball machine uh, top of the range at the other end of my tennis court. Right. If, I, if, if, if the ball machine hasn't booked the court out, I can invite you around. And Man, I would love to. But, you know, seeing as you've lost touch, you probably just want me to be a ball boy. Yeah. I'm sure. So, yeah. I'm happy to do that as well. I can plug the ball machine in if you like. Man. <laughs> Check that it's going all right. Yeah. Well, so I'm, I'm excited because Cap, I met Cap doing a live podcast uh, last year, the festival. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just thought you were great. Oh, uh, thanks, against thanks. popular opinion. Oh, yeah, I just thought, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so when he was saying this, and so I, and I was like, and then you, then you suggested, hey, come on the pod and, 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 and meet Mike in person. I was like, great, that'd be, that'd be ten, fantastic. But it was only driving here yeah. did I pop it on to go, okay, what's this podcast all about? Yeah. And now have arrived realising that I have to give you my phone number. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm nervous. I'm a little bit uh, nervous. Oh, man, and plus, it is the worst time we could ever I know. fuck with people's yeah. socials because, yeah. you know, Black Lives Matter. <clears throat> yeah. And I've got to say, guys, usually when something like this happens, our phone hacks, Facebook group, someone always posts something a bit fucked going, oh, you guys should do this. Yeah. Yeah. No one's done that. No, so I'm really. proud of the listeners. Even yeah. the listeners I'm very, know. very proud of the listeners. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. <laughs> for not being dicks about this. Yeah, good, good. Uh, So, yeah, it's been good. So, yeah, what a great day to really fuck with people <laughs> on social media. That's the thing. We're going to tread lightly <laughs> with anything with that. Nothing no, uh, nothing career ending. It's just, yeah. yeah, it's just, uh, you know, ironic. Yeah. <laughs> Get a great guest. Can't do anything socially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will be right. Yeah, we'll be I right. believe in us. Yeah, yeah I believe in well, us. Well, so the, of those four categories, uh, draft tweets, notes, camera roll, search history, what would you be the most apprehensive about us going through? Great question. 
Um, I. I doubt there's a draft tweet in there. Yeah, like I'm not. Okay. A, I, I don't do that. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I'd be fine with that. You, okay. you hire someone to tweet yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there was what was it? There was it was Hugh Jackman who's uh, whose Twitter. Um, it was it wasn't him in charge originally. It is now. All oh, right. But um, it was when he he tweeted something along the lines of. So great to be back in Australia, about to perform at the Sydney Opera. And it wasn't Sydney Opera House, it was like Sydney yeah. Opera Stadium or something like oh, that. Oh, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's when everyone went, ah, hang yeah. a minute. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah the, it can trip you up um, with, with a servant doing it for oh, okay. you. Of course. Um, so yeah. um, that's the only reason I don't use one of mine for it. But, um, <laughs> it used to be connected to the ball machine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, dra- draft tweets... Camera roll. There's always stuff that you're yeah. mucking around with with your partner and yeah. things yeah, that, yeah, that may yeah. be suspect. Right. Yeah. So it's good to see you still got the fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm two years in with my partner. It's definitely not that going that like, can... oh god, <laughs> yeah. put it away, please. That's it. Imagine sending a dick pic in a long term relationship. Yeah. It would just be like, are you sick? Do you need a? Do you need a, <laughs> see a dick doctor? Is, is this yours? What's going on? <laughs> Can you put a filter on that? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then probably search. I mean, search history yeah. is always dangerous. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that that is always dangerous. Especially, so, uh, obviously, the wheel gets spun. But and what was the fourth one again? Uh, notes. Notes. I'm pretty. I mean, it's boring. I'm a yeah. list guy. So like, right. it would okay. be like things to fix or yeah. like things to buy or what birthday present. You know, like yeah, but I'm, yeah, yeah. yeah. serving to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing with, I mean, with Capra and I, it was really notes was kind of shitty stand-up ideas mm. that we hadn't tried out yet. Yeah. But since, you know, lockdown, quarantine and all the rest, I don't know about you, Cap, but my notes has been a wasteland just in terms of not really putting anything in Yeah. because there's nowhere to try shit. Oh, you man. Know? Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. yeah. So it's just been, you know, a lot of draft tweets, but notes... Nothing. As Dave O'Neill said, my my notes they look like the uni bomber. They just oh, he's, uh, he's got a notebook. Just, just oh, a he's notebook got old school. fucking scribbles and things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone found this book, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely be on some kind of list. You know, <laughs> I found my my old because when we started, you know, before smartphones, yeah. it was just all on moleskins or you know the A4 uh, yeah. pads and stuff, and I found my box of all my old notepads from uni just recently. Oh, wow. And I was sitting there going, God, do I want to look at this? Because <laughs> I don't. I think maybe I thought I was heaps funnier than I was. Oh, or all these things. Well, but. it's like a, a Facebook memory pops up from 2010, and yeah. you're like, Oh, was I really that much of a dipshit? <laughs> Ten years ago, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh. just with everything you're doing, those yeah. glasses, that hat. Oh, what are they God, all? so Man. painful. And it's funny because um, a couple of weeks ago we had Limo on. Yeah, and he said you had you did a tweet once that was showed your TV coming out of your pool. Yes, and some people went fucking crazy at that. Like, yeah, who's this fucking guy with the fucking TV? There was a bit of that, but I reckon maybe yeah. it could have been more as well of the podcasters just being very clever with their lost touch with the common man ah, stuff. But, but gotcha. look, there probably was genuine hate in there as well. So I don't want to. If anyone was listening and they did that genuine hate stuff, I don't want to take that away from you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Run with I was it. I was super hurt, um, <laughs> and I've since uninstalled the television. <laughs> And, uh, I, 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 I felt such sadness as I was watching the AFL from my pool. <laughs> I cried into my champagne. Uh, yeah, it's so it's so weird, man. I, I find when I get older, mm. uh, you know, before I kind of, you know, got into stand-up and all that kind of stuff, yep. you'd be like, a sellout, Kings of Leon, they sold out yeah. or whatever, sellouts. But once you're on the other side of the curtain, you're like, Oh man, wouldn't it be cool to just get a job on Neighbours? <laughs> like, yeah, at least you got a like a solid income, yeah. and, and <laughs> yeah, totally. Like, you know, I see an infinity pool, like a TV coming out. I'm like, that's sick. <laughs> yeah. well, when Haim and I first started doing um, the, we did a drive show on Fox FM. This would have yeah. been 2006, I reckon. Yeah, end of 2005, we got offered uh, Triple J Drive. Yeah. At the same time as Fox Drive. Right. Yeah. And 
I was I was I, did, I wanted to do Triple J so bad. Yeah. I just was like I th- I still think it's cool, but I thought yeah. it was the coolest, and I wanted to be that guy, etc. Yeah, and it was I think it was Haim had the meeting, but it could have been Rich Kidsmill who said like they were trying to coach us to come and do Triple J Drive, and we were like wondering which way to go, and he said it's this is your last chance to be credible was the was oh. the line in wow. the meeting, uh. which which I don't which I think is a good string to pull on like it certainly yeah. was something that I was really worried about so it's not like he's being a dick I was like yeah that's probably the only play they've got because they can't go hey you're going to have heaps of money and resources all that yeah, kind of stuff yeah. but we kind of got together and we were arming and ahhing and Hayman had had a history with Fox FM because he'd been working on Tracy and Matt and other shows and so yeah. he knew the building and knew the people they were great and so we said well what's our best chance to get the most listeners and we thought Okay, let's go with Fox. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that whole thing of trying to be cool and credible was yeah. eating at me. And oh, so yeah. we said when we signed the contract, okay, but we, you can't have your voiceover guy do our ads. We want our own guy. And we tried to create our own little brand. Oh, that's cool. But if Kingsville had never said that, we would never have gone down that path. But I think it made us work harder to try and make the show a bit different. Right, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I get, I get why the, the whole I'll take a job on neighbours now. <laughs> yeah. the side of it. But at the time, these things are important. Oh, man, it, like, yeah, you, you said that. But, yeah, if I got offered, if I got the choice between the two, <laughs> yeah. like making your own coffee at ABC Studios, <laughs> <laughs> someone brings you in and you're like, this is sick, I'll, oh. I'll play Kyle Minogue, yeah. <laughs> love, I love Backstreet Boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we sell out in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, I don't know. The the thing is that you are on the coolest, most credible podcast in Australia right now. I am. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're yeah. back. And my brand manager told me it'd be good for me to come and do this one. I was like, really? These guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, on last week's episode, we had Alex Ward, fantastic comedian. She's been on a few times oh, yeah. before. Uh, the hack I did at the end of the episode, um, Capper had me join a group on Facebook called Hot Chicks. Right, and it's not. There's no actual hot chicks in this group. It's just guys posting photos of chicks that they think are pretty hot. Yeah, and just going check this one out. So I don't have Facebook, but when you join that, yeah, does your followers see that you've joined that? See, that's what I I don't think. I think they can go into my groups, maybe. So they have to specifically. So I have a fan page and a personal page. So they would have to be on the personal page and then go into what groups I follow Mm -hmm. and then see, you know, Mike Goldstein follows hot chicks, (laughs) which is a great sentence. (laughs) (laughs) But it was just heinous, right? Just like all these, I would send Capper some of the photos because they were so bad. And then eventually, finally, it got around to my socials being hacked. And Capper had me just invite 10 people on my friends list to join this group, (laughs) right? So one of which was my brother uh, who lives in New York and he got the invite to join Hot Chicks. And uh, hold on, let me find what he said. This is great. He he said... Uh, or no, so first one was... Because it's an even more dangerous game. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, if yeah. your brother goes, oh, great, thanks, man, I'm loving this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gross. I know what my brother's fucking jerking it to. Now. Yeah. This, this guy, like, he sent a screenshot of, you know, me inviting him to the group, and he said, if it ain't baby chicken set on fire, I won't have anything to masturbate to. So oh, he... Uh, yeah. 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 That's okay. my brother. Cool. Yeah, classic. He's a cool brother. <laughs> yeah. The, he also had me send it to uh, the guy who was going to be the best man at my wedding. And he just said, hot chicks, huh? And I responded, brah, these chicks are hot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that was the only out of the 10 that was the only oh Maggie look yeah, uh, yeah. She, she responded as well just saying Mike I'm not into chicks so she she went <laughs> along with it she's been on the show so she probably knew yeah, yeah, what was yeah. happening Maggie was our producer for a Hamish and Andy producer oh, for right. a, a short period of time yeah yeah, yeah that's cool yeah, yeah. She, we had her on and oh we did the worst hack on her oh, ever that one I terrible. felt uncomfortable about yeah. it was because she's been with Ben Russell for years yep. and then um, uh, we had her post a, a, a ultrasound <laughs> oh, and saying fuck. yeah this is happening or something and yeah. she was took it down within 10 minutes but already there was people like calling her mom <laughs> and oh, like saying man. congrats yeah. that one I think we fucking that was in the early days where we didn't really know <laughs> I, I tried to talk them both out of it yeah. Yeah. That's, how, that's how fucked it was <laughs> Imagine me trying to talk someone yeah, no, out of something. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Um, um, so yeah, out of those uh, invites to the group, uh, they were the only ones I heard back from. Because even weirdly, I sent an invite to Tom Ballard, yep. uh, who's not into <laughs> chicks in any way whatsoever. And I thought Ballard would respond, but he probably just would have been like fucking capper, and yeah, then yeah. you know just ignored it. So and yeah, Mike and Alex Ward, uh, the guests from last week, uh, they got me to post this photo on her wall. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, because yes. Alex is a lesbian. Yeah, uh, got got me to post a picture of two girls kissing on on her wall, just saying, "What do you think of these ones? <laughs> Bit of all right." <laughs> So there's a definite theme to last week's episode. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of these ones? <laughs> but that was Wardo's idea. She yeah. was like, post it on my page because then and, it'll and, pop up. And I guess people would have been going, yeah. Yeah, oh, no, uh, oh, yeah a lot of people liked it, which is fucked. Because people are like, look, he's really lost it. He's gone off. And then um, she wrote, ha ha, what the fuck. And then her girlfriend wrote, Kappa, you're a grub. <laughs> And you you pulled that one as well. You deleted that. I yeah, I pulled it after about three or four hours. Yeah, I was like, yep. I was like, no, I'm not going to get any more trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Wardo tweeted, "Okay, I'm a few wines deep, but I actually kind of miss the touch of a man." Oh, that's great as well. Yeah, yeah, and she said it was getting way more traction than most of her tweets. <laughs> yeah. And then someone uh, just responded with a screenshot of Luca Muller, which is a comedian friend that she does a podcast with, and said, yeah. "Hope this helps." Um, <laughs> and as far as I know, it's still up. She just ran with that. Good stuff. That's yeah. So good. Yeah. Man, a great app from last week. I listened to a bit of that app at the start. Man, we were a few we were a few wines deep. Yeah. It was it was going pretty fast. It was a boozy one. <laughs> it was a real boozy one. <laughs> Those are the best ones though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should we get on it? You gotta right keep now? a flow, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think that's it for the recaps. Okay. Should we get into the phones? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All so right. which way do we pass these we'll things? Pass our phones to the left. So, Andy, okay. you can go through my phone and, you know, yeah. I assume you want to exact some sort of revenge for my brutal tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, if Are you still in the Burns unit from that one? Yeah, yeah. Still, still reeling <laughs> still from recovering. that one? That's all I need. It's fine, man. We'll, yeah, yeah, we'll spin the yeah, wheel yeah. for each phone. Yeah, so okay. let's see what you're going through in my phone this week. Um, oh, the wheel's back. The wheel's back. We got, the we music. got uh, stuck with advertising before and it wouldn't play the music. Oh, no. Yeah. It's just like anxiety-inducing music. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I should say, if something comes up that we don't want to talk about, should we do the safe word again yeah, this yeah. week? Yeah, Any suggestions for a safe word? Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, Rumpelstiltskin. Good there one. Go. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Search history. So you'll be going through my search history. Okay. Anything that comes up, whatever, land on something. <laughs> Uh, it should be interesting. I've been on the phone nonstop for the oh, past yeah, two yeah. months. So, um, <laughs> well, rug, rug shop near me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is straight into the gold. <laughs> this is great. How desperately did you need a rug? <laughs> I did geolocate a yeah. fucking rug yeah. shop. It wasn't. It wasn't like, is there the, what's the best shop rug shop around? Yeah. It was like, no, I need one really fucking fast. <laughs> so can you get me the closest phone? Uh, I had to wrap up a dead body. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, we're moving house at the. Mo- I wish it was something better, but I uh, just moving house at the moment and need need rugs for the new place. Are, so. you, th- are you thinking of moving into? F- Oh, fuck. Yeah. Bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> rumble stiltskin. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to cut that out just so I don't get fucking nudes from <laughs> listeners. Actually, but, send them through. Yeah. By the way, we'll be, we'll be neighbors. Oh, really? If, yeah. you get, if you move into that spot. Yeah, we're there. We're moving in this weekend. Right. We're going to be... 60 meters away from each other. No shit. Yeah. Let's hang. Um, yeah. I'd like to. Do you actually play tennis? Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not great. I, I'm not. I'm yeah, fine. But, but I like playing. I've lost to Husey if that you know, oh, means right. anything. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not good. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to um, see a battle. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. Big baby TikTok video. Uh, ah. Yes. Big What's baby. Saying? Did you see this one viral, I want to say, a month ago? The giant baby that people were horrified by, like, bouncing on her 
dad's back. Did you see this? No. Or his dad's back. It, was it worth the Google? Well, because we were at a dinner thing and... Uh, <laughs> Man, this makes it better. <laughs> <laughs> you were at a dinner. You guys have got to see this bad baby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. It's <laughs> the first time you've been able to catch up with anyone for three months and then the topic and conversation ran out so quickly yeah. that it was suddenly big baby TikTok video. It's just a <laughs> silence after all the Simpsons quotes have been talked about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it fucking explains itself. It was, uh, yeah, the horrifying babies came up and I was yep. like, did anyone see the uh, viral video of the giant baby? Uh-huh. And it's, uh, it is, you guys would have remembered it if you would have seen it. Because yeah, right. It, yeah, it leaves uh, s- some scar tissue. Okay. It's, it's really? so big. But then apparently what would well, happen, it was actually a three-year-old that just, was bald and was wearing a diaper. So it was a three-year-old size kid. Right. But just looked like a giant, giant baby. baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah I'll, really? be Google, I'll Google that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, cool. Not now, yeah. but I certainly will once, once <laughs> I leave this. Imagine going bald at three. Oh, that's God, terrible. So bad. <laughs> I get so I was, the, I was the head of that, uh, that social <laughs> occasion. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> like Mike. Yeah. yeah like, like, want to be like Mike. They're like, um, were you looking for a rug, mate? Because uh, <laughs> yeah. just take ours. <laughs> <laughs> Are you... Feeling a bit homesick of late. Oh, what's I uh, no idea where this is heading. <laughs> American Foods Melbourne. Ah, ah yeah. Has right. been has been Googled. Yeah. yeah. Well there's a bit of a All narrative here for. because on the way to the uh, particular dinner party yeah. uh in Marabin, oh, there's yes. an American Foods store that sells ah, yeah, right. nothing but, you know, Cheetos and Twinkies and yeah. all the healthy shit that <laughs> makes Americans the size they are. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, yeah, I wanted to pop in, but apparently they, uh, they, they've they been shut for the past few weeks. Oh, yeah, right. They might have reopened now, but they were just like shut completely during restrictions. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. like America itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you gotta keep you gotta keep in touch with the you know, with yeah. back home. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Like let's close up. <laughs> um have you been playing board games lately? Uh yeah, I think so. I love uh, I love the uh, inquisitive <laughs> yeah, yeah. leader. Yeah, this is good. We've, <laughs> we've never had the grill. Yeah. Really? Um, <laughs> um Twister game. Ah. So you are either here's what I think. It's like I'd like to guess yeah, before deconstruct. Yeah. Are we thinking, Cap, that he was playing it with against his partner? She pulled a rule on him that was she's. He's like, no, I got to Google this game because you know there's a rule uh, problem here that, yeah. that you guys are having an argument about potentially, yeah. or. You guys had a few drinks and just suddenly wanted to, and the neighbors had come around. <laughs> and you're like, we, we want to go out there and get Twister so we can play it. Well, as soon as they eased restrictions, I was like, what's the most fucked up thing you could do with a bunch of people? Is play <laughs> Twister. <laughs> <laughs> so you might as well, you yeah. know, instead of a rug, we just got a giant Twister mat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one will come over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just get like a beautiful rug made yeah. at, with the twister pattern on it. Yeah. You know, just like yep. so it's there all the time. You never draw that's, attention to it when you have visitors over. It's a great idea. Yeah. And as long as the coffee table has some kind of spinning top in it. Yeah. yeah. So you can sit the coffee table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got the whole tw- that's it. And then you, should, you guys, you guys should run create, with this. You yeah. guys should create the Twister rug. <laughs> first, mer- first, mer- have you guys got merch yet? Uh, a little bit. First, yeah, yeah. Or, or additional merch. Yeah, Christmas oh. special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure, man. Yeah, the, the Twister um, rug. And then whenever someone asks about it, whenever you just got friends over, you just get really insecure about it. You just go, "Yeah, what the fuck? You like to play Twister? <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? People can do what they want." Oh man, <laughs> that's oh. actually a great merch idea. <laughs> okay, um, I have a merch story, but one more thing yeah. in the phone. And yeah, then... the bad superintendent. Oh, that sounds like I was looking for a very specific. Type of Pornhub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah superintendent. Not even teachers. <laughs> yeah. like, I want someone with a little more authority. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's what I'm into. Uh, <laughs> fuck. That was, again, I wish it was better. The, um, uh, what was the name of the movie? It was just on HBO. It's Hugh Jackman. Oh, yeah. Again. Yeah. Um, I think they called it Bad Education. Bad Education. Yeah. Fantastic. Movies about like um, frauds and hoaxes, the best, right? And TV, this is, TV series, yeah? No, it was just a one-off All right. HBO movie. All right. Well worth watching. And then I, I did some research because there's a classic thing where Hugh Jackman played the, the main character. Yeah. And it's based on a real-life story. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I just want to see what the actual guy looks like. Yes. And he's just some like squat... <laughs> 
Italian, like fucking penguin looking. Yeah. Dude. And it's just like, oh, fuck. You know, like that's why they didn't show his picture at the end. Sometimes yeah. at the end of these real life yeah. stories. Yeah. And I looked it up and then it was based on this article called Bad Superintendent. Right. And then I went and read the article. So oh. that's the. Because they were siphoning money, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, they yeah. embezzled 11 million out of a public school system. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. It's amazing. But the public That's skills need it. Oh, no. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Fuck. <laughs> they can, they they can too exist. good for too long. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it sounds like a real um, lengthy storyline for a porn yeah. film. <laughs> <laughs> you embezzled $11 million yeah. out of me. You've been a bad <laughs> superintendent. You just kept waiting for Hugh to take his clothes off and it never <laughs> <Yeah>. came. <laughs> Man, um, this is getting really in-depth, <laughs> but it's kind of getting me horny. You know? <laughs> Uh, well, just with the merch thing, I should plug the Patreon as well. Uh, yeah. yeah, we've been doing four bonus episodes a month. Uh, we've been working hard. Working mm. hard. Get four in hours on a that. month. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 And with, with no stand-up, it's all we have at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> please help us out. Uh, you, and is the Patreon, you set the price for it? Yeah, so yeah. for only five bucks a month, they get the four bonus episodes. Brilliant. Yeah, right. It's still twenty five an app. Man. Or if you liked an app more, equate equate two dollars to that. Attribute two dollars to that one, yeah. which makes the other ones cheaper. Yeah, yeah exactly. Or yeah. if we've yeah. had some five dollar apps, we've had some you know negative fifty <laughs> cents. <laughs> apps. But it all yeah. comes out. It all comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be honest. Don't listen to the first four, I'd say. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously get on that. Um, but with the merch thing, so because we're moving house, you know how you just get rid of a ton oh, yeah. of shit. Um, I came across a box that's basically filled with shame because it is um, in 2016 or 2017, I thought a good merch idea would be MAGA hats. Oh. Which that, oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> but instead of Make America Great Again, it said Mike America Goldstein again. <laughs> it's just stupid, right? It's, yeah, yeah. it's so stupid. And at the time, I was like, oh, this isn't bad. And I asked some comedians, and they're like, yeah, people buy that. I was hosting the Comedy Lounge for a month. I was like, yeah, I could yeah. push some units afterwards. Didn't sell well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did not sell well at all. <laughs> no. And so I found this box and I was like, God damn it. Yep. Which I, especially now more than ever. Yeah, exactly. That fucking hat is just a symbol of the worst shit yep. in the world, you know? And yeah. like the people who did buy it, I was getting messages from, you know, people who came to shows and actually bought a hat and they're saying, yeah, someone tried to fight me in the street. <laughs> I was like, no, if you look close, it's some yeah, if you Jew's look close. name. Yeah. <laughs> Liberal that, yeah, that have yeah. nothing to do. So was it red and white as well? Yeah, red and uh, white. Oh, Mike God. America Goldstein yeah. again. So no, I I'd be this- judged. I'm not getting. I'm not, not like going. I shouldn't judge this guy yet until yeah. I get up and read the fine print. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm, ju- I'm judging the guy straight away. Oh, oh yeah, away. Yeah. Looks yeah. like a prick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I, I probably got to throw the box away. But uh, if anyone wants wants one of these, uh, <laughs> hit me up. You know my address. <laughs> what if you tried to? <laughs> what if you tried to make it more like trending? You know, because they got like the Epstein documentaries, like make Jeffrey Epstein again or something oh, like that. God. You're like, I fixed it up, guys. So, yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> so it's more on trend. You oh, know, like you know, it's someone. <laughs> sent me uh, uh, thank god they sent it to me privately but there's that photo of Epstein and Weinstein hanging out yeah. together and they photoshop me into it so it's Epstein Weinstein Goldstein, Goldstein. <laughs> and I'm like it's fucking funny but I can do nothing with this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what, I mean? yeah. <laughs> what do you want <laughs> Hey guys, so a fan sent me this funny photo. Yeah. Oh man, the fans just keep cracking me up. It's great. <laughs> Look at me hanging out with these guys. Yeah. That so much in common with. <laughs> oh, the fucking worst. But um, yeah. Anyways, that's it for my Google search history. We should right. spin the wheel okay. to see what Capper is going through. Cap in Andy's phone. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, um, you said you don't draft tweet, mate. You just fire him out, do you? You're Pretty a much. lone ranger. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. yeah. I th- yeah. Oh, I think so. I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know where drafts may sit. Ah, yeah. right. So yeah. you could go in there. My guess would be the well will be dry. Yeah, the cupboard yeah. will be bare. But who knows? No, oh, um, who knows? But if if the cupboard is bare, I guess we spin again. Yeah, yeah spin yeah, again, yeah. Or, or I'm just triumphant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you won. <laughs> got a free. We just go. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, well, it looks like again that might be. It's notes. notes, and you said that's going to be lists no, and stuff. Go, go for yeah. it. I mean, just yeah. just go for it. A yeah. fascinating insight into okay Andy Lee's shopping. Uh, fuck, man, this is so funny. 
<laughs> All right, he's got something. Because <laughs> he lost touch with the common man. Yet the second thing in the list is beach house builder fix list. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Yeah this is not uh, going to bode well for me I've been trying to shake this up I, I bounce actually between leaning into it And yep. like making jokes about you know Things are going well And then like feeling like deeply ashamed about it no. So no, it'll, no. It'll, 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 no, I'll swing funny, I'll swing The thing is though It's, it's all just, jealousy Just own it Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, okay, mean, I think so um, It's got here that's really good man You've got I, I haven't It's got the note It's just got things we like Yeah that's my in, girlfriend and I That's a shared note in it, it's just got meals. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so like if we have a good meal, particularly oh. if we've cooked it ourselves, you know how for yeah. dinner you go, what do we feel like for dinner? Yeah. And then you can wait. It's like when you're trying to choose Netflix. You can go, what do we feel like? If there's yeah. no recommendation, you can get stuck looking for that movie yeah. for three or four days and then never actually watch anything. Yeah. We are, we're similar with meals. We will go around in circles with regards yeah. to what we should cook, what we should get. So now when Beck goes, what do we feel like for dinner? I go back to the meals we like list. Oh, great. And we went, we liked this. Yeah. Let's yeah. just do that again. Reference guide. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, man. Yeah, we got those Hello Fresh things for a while because mm. um, my girlfriend kept ripping them off uh, by putting a different email address and you get the first <laughs> oh, five to ten free that's or something like tip. that. Oh, that's yeah, a great yeah. tip. She, she just, <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I put the same house address down. I don't know why they don't get it. <laughs> 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 How many people live in this yeah. house? <laughs> it's a share house for 175 people. <laughs> well, at least they're healthy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, they must be telling each other about yeah. the great service. Yeah. It's one of those clown houses. Yeah. <laughs> Word spreading between ex-flatmates. Yeah. Before I go, you should, you should do yeah. this. Uh, yeah, so that's what we did as well. We yeah. saved the good ones. Yeah. And then we're like... We always think of when my parents come or we're like, oh, we can impress our parents with these ones. Isn't it? <laughs> That's <laughs> and, great. And then, you save the best pre-cooked meals for your parents' <laughs> arrival. <laughs> Little do they know that we just eat barn mees or whatever. <laughs> um, oh, this, this one's interesting, man. Mm. This one, films to watch. Mm. Films, Raging Bull. Yeah. Rear window. So you've got a lot of classics here. I haven't, these are the ones I haven't seen. And oh, again, shit. It, when, you, when you look at the, how ordered I am, Cap, yeah. if you were to scroll down, you'll see the ones that I've done and I've put in brackets beside them. Oh, done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> done. You absolute weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> done. Yes. I'm yeah. not, not known for being fast and loose. I'm a bit more slow and uptight when it comes to order. Oh, Do you right. scream done after the credits? <laughs> <laughs> done. 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 <laughs> Triumphantly. Yeah. yeah. So, um, man, yeah. so many good ones here. One of my favorites. There's a few here in my, my top 10 mm. um, City of God. Great film. So good. Brutal yeah. film. Oh, yeah. brutal. Yeah. But yeah, so so amazing. Uh, Senna. Senna. Yeah, Man. yeah. So you're obviously in the doco section down the bottom there, are you? Oh, it's that well ordered. <laughs> yeah, he's got docos. Films watch docos. Yeah. And then it's got bad superintendent <laughs> two. <laughs> Cheerleader <laughs> edition. Yeah. Man, that's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. Um, and I bought my parents Senna. Yep. And um, I bought them it for Christmas. Oh, the, the doco, not his body. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I bought him his car. <laughs> that would have been amazing to taxidermy <laughs> Senna. Like, it would have cost a fortune, you imagine. You realize you cannot taxidermy a human. Really? really? I. With, I was doing my will and stuff and they were like, well, what do you want your body? What would happen? Stuffed. To, like, and I said, I would like to be taxidermied yeah. to sit at the front of my house with a tray of beers. Oh, nice. So that every from then on after I die, anyone who visits or comes around to see Beck, my partner, yeah. they can see me with a tray of beers at the front with a smile. <laughs> and and I was like, that'd be great. <laughs> and so I... <laughs> Horrifying. I looked yeah. into it. Yeah. You can't taxidermy a human, but you can taxidermy a pet. So if I... I, never, I don't have a dog, but if yeah. I did yeah. and they lived a fulfilled life but then passed away before me, yeah. I could taxidermy my dog yeah. to have a tray of drinks on his back. <laughs> 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 So for me to come and, and see him every day. Yeah. Yeah. What position would you go for, Cap, if you were a taxidermist? That's a great question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe uh, 
oh, what what do I look best with? I got a peachy butt, so maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe I would be on all fours showing off that peach. <laughs> so you're nude in this scenario? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I think I well, you were just telling us about your bouldering yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah. I think surely it'd be great to have you in a, in a pose where we could hang you from different ledges <laughs> <laughs> with, your, with your hands just rigid, <laughs> and then we could we could put you up alongside you know on the windowsill yeah, or something yeah. and just have moving like you know the elf on a shelf. Yeah, we just have calf. <laughs> <laughs> Around your house Man that's so good You could go um, Hey guys uh, If you were freaked out About By the twister rug <laughs> Wait till you see <laughs> Repositioning My boyfriend's Dead body <laughs> <laughs> you can move him out. You can put him upside down. It's great. <laughs> there is actually a, um, a, a black mirror kind of like that, isn't there? Oh, Have you guys really? seen them all? No. Oh. So <clears throat> there's a, a, a black mirror where. Hang on, is this in the dun? This is in the dun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good, I wanted to check. <laughs> yeah, this is eyewitness. This is not yeah, it's hearsay. Um, where you send off. For if your partner passed away, it's a bit of a reveal, so I'm ruining it. But um, this guy gets this order and 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 pours like these crystals into the bath, and like oh. suddenly it reconstitutes like sea monkeys back in the day, oh, but like yeah, yeah. into a woman, and he's got this partner, this girlfriend, and you're like, oh, that's kind of cool to have yeah, this hot yeah. girlfriend, and then you realize it's actually his dead partner that he that there's a service where you can have them come back into your life. But they're not really them, kind of. Right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not, yeah so, it's kind of like pet cemetery vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of reanimated, but it's <laughs> yeah. You know, you're never get fully gonna get him back. No, <laughs> no, no. But he went around the house hanging her from different parts. No, he didn't. <laughs> like a cat, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that should be an offering in the future. I mean, yeah. surely we'll be able to put our brains into something. Well, oh, the yeah. thing is, like, it's crazy. You can't stuff. Your own body. I mean, isn't yeah. that the last thing you should have say and an entitlement exactly. over? You know, like I would probably, I would probably go downward dog position, <laughs> just waiting for a bad superintendent to come along. <laughs> 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 or they put me in like a, a playground or something and just horrify, <laughs> <laughs> horrify children. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so good. Yeah. <laughs> like a scarecrow for yeah. Yeah. Like a, kids keep stealing this dude's fruit from his yeah. back. Yeah, just puts Goldstein in there. <laughs> Once a day, it's in my will. They have to put me down the slide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Have you got? Have you got a will? I mean, uh, it's a very no. personal question. No. Cap, you got a will? No. Right. We have no assets. So yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 This uh, this podcast I've, system we bought. <laughs> I've I won't say what I've done, but I've left a couple of weird things to some random people. Oh yeah. Just to confuse them, man. I love oh, really? it. Like, I I I've I've left something to Hamish. Yeah. And I, with a with a note that says he'll know what this means. Oh, really? But it has no. It just bears nothing in his life. He would never have seen it before and stuff. But I love the idea that he will sit there forever and go. <laughs> I won't tell you the item because he might know them. But yeah, like yeah. if he's sitting there looking at this item, going, God, yeah, what did Andy? This is this is. I want I want that to play on his yeah. mind. He'll think about me more. <laughs> <laughs> just haunting. Yeah. 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 Now amazing. you got a. Now you got a race to die first. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We're pretty competitive guys. Oh, no. so. <laughs> <laughs> On his deathbed, you shot. You go. I would have given you this, yeah, exactly. but you're going to die now. So anyway, <laughs> but I think he's running similar things. I think yeah, that's there's yeah. some fun to be had there. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. That's great. That uh, that done. I've got a bunch of films that oh, I got to watch as well. Have you got a film that I should be adding to this list? Ah. Oh. What's what's your when you say top ten? What's your best film of all time? Ah, oh, probably my favorite is. Uh, you probably seen it before. Uh, 1986 Batman, Michael oh. Keaton. Really? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. your number Great one? Film. With Jack Nicholson. Number, Jack Nicholson. Yeah. 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 Even, so good. even saying that's the number one Batman film is... Is a Man, huge. it's the best. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's so great. Good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Jack Nicholson, Joker, great. You know, yeah. 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 Rene Kim- Russo was Vicky Vale, wasn't it? Uh, oh, Kim no, Basinger. Kim Basinger. Kim Basinger. Yeah. 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 Yes, they're interchangeable. They uh, are a bit. <laughs> really? Would you say that? I reckon <laughs> Russo and Russo kind of got the Latino vibe. No, no. Oh, does she? No, oh, she's. <laughs> <laughs> Rene Russo pretty much looks exactly like Kim Basinger. Yeah, there's does a lot he? of similarities. Oh no! Yeah. yeah, boy, do I look like an idiot? Here I am, just calling you out. <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, man, great list there. Thank you. Uh, so I, yeah, I bought Senna for my. 
parents, the Sorry. documentary. Yeah. Sorry. This is and um, oh, yeah. Because they're out in the country. <laughs> this was going somewhere. Out in the country, they got a TV with no remote control. They got, they got a DVD player, no remote control. Right. And they got no DVDs except for they had The Empire Strikes Back. Really? So we watched that at Christmas, loved it. We were like, yeah. oh, it's so good. And I thought, I'll buy them some DVDs next Christmas. I bought them Senna. Yeah. And then they said, oh, great, we've been into DVDs lately. Um, let's watch this Senna movie. And I said, I said, what? I said, what's it about? And I said, it's about this Formula One drive. And they're like, we're not into Formula One, Nick. <laughs> like, and isn't he the one that died? Yes. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's an interesting. Do you think I'm into Formula One? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, just watch the fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah. And do they and, watch it? No, they walk around all the time. They get drinks and everything. But the funniest thing is, is my brother and I could not stop laughing because they said they've been into DVDs lately. We open up the DVD player and the Empire Strikes <laughs> Back is in there <laughs> like a year later. <laughs> I am going to send you, Cap, yeah. the True Story DVD to uh, give to your parents. Oh, great. The main reason is we have thousands of them <laughs> <laughs> which are sitting in the warehouse. Like my where, MAGA hats. Like the MAGA hats. <laughs> we, there was this huge discussion between Hamish and I and, and Ryan Shelton who works with us and Tim Bartley, there's four of us in our company. And Tim was like, We've, you know, the DVDs have gone well over the years and we're like, nah, hmm. this is, I think DVDs are, are failing. I think yeah. they're going to be gone. And he's like, oh, there might be one last run. You know, some old people like Cap's parents. He didn't yeah. say that. That would have been really weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so specific. Cap's parents. Yeah, amazing <laughs> foresight. <laughs> I, got a, I got a photo of them in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> and he's... and. We're like, okay, we trust you. You're the you're the business guy. Oh, no, you're thanks. the you're you're that guy. So, um, is that the front door? Oh no, it's all right. I think he's just getting some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, it's a stain on his his like we love bringing it up with him. It's cost us a lot of yeah. money, and we've got six thousand DVDs waiting to be yeah. to be sold eventually, which they never will be. That we I think we're looking at I don't know being them being coasters or something like. Oh, they, they, yeah. we, we, are there? Is there a way to repurpose these because no one will actually use them for their original intention? Yeah, yeah. We did a real terrible hack on Danny McGinley. Yep. Uh, when he came on, he in his profile picture is a um, is all of his DVDs that he didn't sell of his stand up special. Right. So he got him to post on Facebook. Hey guys, I've got all these DVDs left over. Um, don't have to pay postage. I'll send them to you. <laughs> yeah. Like free. this is for free. Yeah. Like as a, <laughs> so people were like, yeah, got hit up by so many people. Like, yeah, yeah I'll take one. Yeah, and, yeah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone said, I want my money back or yeah. wasn't yeah. worth it or Not something like that. just a mean people. I want my free postage back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, um, and then someone else, another comedian, actually posted that for seriously. Oh, really? They said, oh yeah, I'll mail them to you and stuff. And I was like. Please don't tag us in it, nobody. But then, like, about 10 of our fans were like, look at this, was he on the show? And I'm like, yeah. oh, poor guy, <laughs> rub it in his face. Why don't you? I know, no <laughs> one can post anything earnestly anymore without <laughs> someone going, phone hacks <laughs> podcast. Yeah. And like, yeah, you good. know? Yeah. Um, yeah, right. man, what do you want to see in my phone? Okay, so yeah. Capper's phone, <clears throat> spinning the wheel. Ooh. I don't know what I've got on that. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've been, I've been um, searching for some weird shit. Okay. Yeah. And uh, photos, boring as ever, you know, just all ISO stuff. <laughs> oh, gosh, what's it coming up? Oh, it's this so, so scary. great. Capper, for you, we are on search history. Oh, right. right. Search history. Yeah. I would love to know what goes through the, that mind <laughs> <laughs> when he's by himself. Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, there, there's probably some... Uh, How do I spell my name? Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, there's a ton of Julian Assange really? stuff. Uh, Are yeah, you into that's, Assange? That's just something that... I, I was trying to... I was trying to craft some kind of thing for this podcast that I might yeah. give later. But, but also I heard that he was uh, – that he's been avoiding interviews. Like interviews. Right. Yeah. So – and also that he's like got – purposely or is he incarcerated? And he he's, said that he's got respiratory problems or something right. or COVID. But also mm. – this is what I find weird. He's had a kid. What? When he was in the embassy. With Pam Anderson? Really? With it. Is he with Pam? <laughs> he was with Pam Anderson oh, for a while. Shit. Yeah, and then, um, well, he had another partner, a translator. Um, really? Who went in there and then she hooked up A trans up with him. partner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard yeah. it here first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, that's 
Well, I, I interviewed Julian Assange. Really? Yeah. Um, Hamish had an idea for our show where he said, hey, we should gift each other a guest. Yeah. You know, like we've had people that come to us, but why don't we actually try and find this person that we love, the yeah. individually love, and I say, you'll just bring up this idea because there's someone you want me to find. Yeah. And he's like, no, 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 Jeff Probes because yeah. he just loves Survivor. All right. Uh, so right, yeah. I was like, cool, I don't really have anyone that – you know, I really want to interview, but mm. I'll just get Jeff's probes. And he was like, no, 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 it's got to be fair. It's got to be fair. And at this stage, Assange was in lockdown in the embassy. Yeah. And I was like, okay, you got two. The guy that killed Obama. I'm oh, sorry, not Obama. Um, uh, <laughs> bin Laden. <laughs> uh, bin Laden. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obama, Os- that's, a, that's a scoop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> a huge scoop. The guy that killed Osama, Bin Laden. And Haim's like, that's still... Uh, State yeah. secret. Um, so that's what happens. Like, okay, get me Julian Assange. As a joke to him, yeah. like you'll never be able to get him. Yeah. And yeah, um, basically through luck, Assange oh, yeah. was about to release a book and, and uh, he's like, yeah, I'll come on. Wow. Um, but Haim wasn't there. So it was just me and Julian Assange and he was not up for a laugh. Oh, really? Nah. Pretty serious guy. Oh, yeah. Man. Was- <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the what, joke lead in? Something. Oh, like I was just trying to even vaguely lighthearted. Yeah. Like I wouldn't even say it was a joke. Yeah. Like um, just trying know, to just, just one little giggle out of yeah, the guy. Yeah, just like, what do you, like what's your gym routine yeah. in there? Or something that's just yeah. like not uh, just mm. fiercely political. Yeah, but, you nah. got WikiLeaks. I have a site called WikiPiss. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, hey, mate, I've got a, got a few problems with my Mac, if you could help me out. <laughs> I, I heard you're good with these computer things. Huh? So it was just a straight-up <laughs> promo interview. He just... No, he, he he was just... I mean, he obviously is a that for Ford. He believes, you know, that freedom fighter and all that kind of stuff, and he mm-hmm. that was his message. And then he was angry it wasn't live. Yeah. Oh, really? So he said, oh, we're going live now. I say, no, no, Julian, we're not going live because, A, uh, we're on a commercial yeah. <laughs> top 40 station. Yeah. No one wants to... You're going to play Ariana Grande after yeah, yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an interesting point. The US government have been doing some weird things. Anyway, under Ariana Grande. <laughs> so uh, then he was angry. I said, hey, just so you know, uh, I can send you anything because I think he was worried about being taken out of context. He was so worried about just people taking him out of context and, and he was so aware, of course, mm. of the tricks mm. of the media, as he would say. So... God, it was boring. Yeah. It yeah. was 40 minutes of I couldn't. I, yeah. It was, oh, really? It was hellish. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So did you, then if it wasn't live there, you just cut it down to. Yeah, I think I played one minute. What? Yeah, two minutes. I mean, we, we put the whole thing out. Yeah. But I was like, this doesn't, this, this doesn't. And like, it was, an, it, some parts were a really interesting chat, you yeah, know, yeah. but uh, it certainly didn't sit in between pink and Rihanna's new song. <laughs> I just love it, man. I love that guys like him, uh, they're never from Sydney or anything, from Townsville. Yeah. Like, I love that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so good. They're putting it's him on the map. Townsville. What do you got? What's in there? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of weird shit. Bamboozled term. What's bam? Yeah, oh. you've looked that up a bunch. Bamboozled, yeah. I was trying to, because we got bamboo growing out the back. Yeah. Um, that's sorry to lose touch with the common man. <laughs> it kind of sounds like a flex, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got bamboo, bamboo growing bamboo out the back, back you know. Yeah. Well, bamboo um, is notoriously difficult to get rid of. Yes. Yeah. 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 So um, I was trying to think of the term bamboozled and where it came from right. when I was staring at bamboo, and uh, I, I'm trying to write it. Here you go. Here's an insight bit. for it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, sit back, guys. <laughs> You're about to get schooled. Yeah. Yeah. Here's 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we talk about it, <laughs> Um Okay. Um, yeah. is, there, is there a correlation? Uh, yeah, so what happened is bamboozled because um, I was thinking that means surprised or confused. Yeah. But it's not really a surprising or confusing plant. And it goes straight up and down, got leaves. Mm. But then I found out it's from the British explorers because all of these terms come from... They always have some racist fucked up demeanour. <laughs> yeah. Is that when they were invading other countries like <laughs> Asian countries and stuff like that, the, a lot of the uh, natives and things like that would lead them into the bamboo forest. Really? And that was very confusing. 
Okay. Yeah. It yeah. would be because there's, they're, they're, they all look the same. Exactly. That's it as far as, sorry, that was very much directed at the bamboo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like all, it's, it's similar width, similar shape to all of it. So I can imagine if you're walking through a bamboo forest, it'd yeah. be hard to get kind of a, a mark, wouldn't it, to go, okay, this is where I am. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I was trying to think of, like where, where it did come from. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, if you've got another type of tree, I guess if you're in a palm tree forest, they all pretty much look the same. Yeah. Is there, an, is there a forest that you'd be able to f- – gum trees, I guess? Redwood. Redwood, yeah. There yeah. we go. So, yeah. This, th- is a, this is the height of podcasting. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What's less trees? <laughs> so what else did Assange say? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> One more in okay. your phone, a bunch of MC Hammer searches. Oh, yeah, I was uh, up, up late watching Rage. Yeah, and I saw an M- MC Hammer clip. Yeah, man, remember those pants? Oh, dude, oh yeah, massive. Yeah, how sick are those pants? I oh, know. Were they called happy pants? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. So yeah, the huge like billowy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, are those hammer pants? I think they after he wore it and made those clips. Yeah, yeah. I actually in Vegas, all fifteen twenty years ago, very drunk with a lady friend, we ran into MC Hammer really? walking really? around the strip. Yeah, got a picture with him. One of my proudest moments. Yeah. I'll dig up the picture. Picture with him, and he was a little. His hands on the girl I was with was a little too familiar. Great. And drunkenly, I said, "Hey, Hammer, yeah, you can't touch this." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't find it funny <laughs> at all. <laughs> he was only in the picture because he got to touch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, that's so good. He was on a Rove episode that I was on back in the day. Yeah. Right. Back when you know when Conan was doing like weird, mm. weird on the Tonight Show, just like suddenly music would happen and and something weird would happen on the screen. Like he, there was like kind of absurdist comedy at the time where it was just yeah. And you know I think Rove and that were like oh we should try and do something like that. And it was just like when yeah that song came on, Can't Touch This came on. MC Hammer would just come across the background doing his dance and then go back. He wasn't interviewed or anything. I don't think from <laughs> really. Yeah, that got that's always a worry. When someone's willing just to give up their time, yeah, to, yeah, to do yeah. a to, bit part, to do that bit part, but yeah, that was that was that job. Like, yeah, and I remember just being there, going, "Wow, this that's a guy. I used to love this song so much, and now I'm just watching him sit side of stage, waiting for the music to come up randomly so he could dance across." <laughs> 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 Holy well, shit! Well, my um, I was drawing and I was looking for stuff to draw. It was like two in the morning. I was kind of drunk, you know, and then I drew a picture of MC Hammer. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's just, I'll show you afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, but I couldn't really... With the ca- billowy pants? Yeah, with the billowy pants. It's kind of him and Aladdin. Yeah. That really... Shiny. Mm, yeah. yeah. Have, they probably, they feel like a kind of Arabian Nights type pants, don't they? Like they yeah. yeah. He was culturally appropriating, yeah. if anything. So. <laughs> you, you get cancelled, Hammer. You heard it here first. <laughs> I, heard, I heard he was a big Christian. Like he went and formed his own Christian music channel and stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. It, he was... did. He was a pastor, I think, after he yeah. blew all his money. Yeah. Because, right. yeah, I, th- I don't know if it was gambling or water. He was just excessive spending. Yeah. But all the riches he so made he, off that album just went, went immediately. Uh, hence the Rove. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this suddenly makes yeah. a lot more sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Should we do the hacks? We're in the point yeah. at the end of the episode. Man, that'd be so good to just get a real desperate invoice from MC Hammer. <laughs> Yo, Rove, can you pay this now, brother? <laughs> I really need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. That money touches my bank account soon. Um, uh, all right, let's go. All right, so I'll roll the dice first to yeah. see what I have to do this week. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. It's a six. Six. That is what we landed on for you, which was a DM to a celebrity on Instagram. Okay. So that was, yeah. So basically when Ari Shafir was on, I landed on a six. Okay. And so that's what you got the message that was eventually pulled. Capper, do you have anyone um, in well, mind this, this week? This kind of, this person isn't like a, um, no, they are a celebrity. Sorry. They're, they're a celebrity, but also a friend of ours. Yeah. Um, that I thought you could, um, you could DM is, uh, you know, and a friend of yours, uh, Reese Nicholson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I thought maybe you could, sorry. I'm just looking at it now. I'm trying to find it. So Reese and I follow each other, so he'll get this. He'll get this. Straight yeah, away. Definitely, definitely. I mean, Cap, can I throw something in there yeah. at the moment? But if yours will probably be better because I, I guess there's yeah. some thought behind it. But this is just off the top of my head. Mm. Hey, Reese, 
move in house. Can you come and help me? <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, of it, course it, yours it, is it, way better than whatever it'd Capper only be. Was. It'd only be four or so hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is but so good. But could use the, the extra set of hands. <laughs> 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 hey, Reese, hope you're well. Uh, moving house. <laughs> Not even any chance. Should I say moving house? Um, can you can you come help or uh, yeah? Um, if uh, if you're free, are I'll you a chance to come help me? Yeah, yeah don't yeah. go if you're free. Are you a chance to come help me? It'll only be four or so hours on a Saturday man, afternoon. That is great. <laughs> Also, Reese, the strongest man you know. Yeah. <laughs> if there's ever a removal, yeah. probably probably snap under a dressing table. Yeah. And uh, it's only four or so hours. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that sucks. And I don't even think Reese has a license. Usually, hit up someone who owns like a U or yeah, some yeah. shit. But this is a guy who doesn't drive or anything. It's kind of feeble. Yeah, only yeah. four or so hours. On a Saturday. Oh man, that's that's terrifying that you did that off the top of your head. <laughs> right. I remember, man, when I um, because you, you, I don't know, we've got a we've got something in common that mm. you and uh, Hamish would travel places in tuxedos. Yes, and I did the tuxedo that was trip brilliant. for the Inferior Podcast, yep. Dum Dum Club. Um, yeah. So, and then you told me that you guys did that before you even were doing TV. They're just in uni. Yeah. You said, hey, we'll just drive. Yeah, it was a Hamish should put his uh, a really shitty old Audi that he should never have bought as a lemon yeah. in the trading post. And he came, this is when back when everyone had newspapers, everybody. Yeah. And he brought it to university and said, I'm selling it. And he'd taken, he'd paid a little bit extra to have at the bottom of the ad, in quotation marks, could drive to the top of Australia. <laughs> and yeah. I went, Who's the quote from? He yeah. said, it's from me. <laughs> but it, doesn't, it wasn't attributed to anyone. Of course. And I said, there's no fucking way that your car could drive to the top of Australia at uni. You're like, yes, it could. I'm going for the backpackers market. There's all these backpackers that want to head up north and they, they kind of work in Melbourne and then they, off they go. And I was like, there's just no way that the car would make it. He said, I bet it could. I said, I bet it couldn't. I said, let's go now. And we just left <laughs> from university. The clothes were in. To start driving, and then we're about three hours in, and I was like, oh, "I better call my girlfriend," and he's like, mm. "Same, I better call mine." And so, <laughs> shit, yeah. and we just kept going all the way to the Daintree, mm. to the top of Australia, and made it. Yeah, well, th- that's when I chickened out ah, right. because it said four wheel drives only. I was like, "Ha, oh, suck it, four wheel drives only." He's like, "I'm happy. We'll keep going." But he had a surprise twenty first birthday coming up that his mum had told me oh, and wow. we were so far away that we weren't going to get back for it in time. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, I was, and so, yeah, we turned around and the car caught fire on a bridge in Brisbane <laughs> and we, we had to take it to this, we call him Shifty McShifty, this Irish mechanic who was going to charge us two and a half grand yeah. and that's when I had to say, mate, we're going to have to leave the car here and I'm really sorry but you've got a surprise party tomorrow night. We've got to get off a while. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You had to tell him. Yeah, I had to oh. tell him. Did he act surprised? Yeah. Silly I said, yeah, I said, you've got to act surprised. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so that, that's what makes me feel like such a hack is I was doing it under the public eye and stuff. You were just doing this shit for fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. that's what makes me freak out when you go, oh, this is just off the top of my head. Uh, <laughs> it was so much fun. Uh, uh, th- well, that's perfect. Right. That's out there. Hey, well Reese, hope you're well. Moving house, can you come help? Only four or so hours on a Saturday. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Not even this Saturday, just <laughs> on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah. You will be very inconvenienced. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, is it my turn to roll? Uh, we'll do you last because okay. we have some pre-prepared stuff for okay. you. So oh, your turn to roll, Cap. Oh, Cap, roll the go. dice. And six. six. Guys, we should head straight <laughs> to the casino. I don't know what game yeah. involves dice, but you guys have both hit sixes. <laughs> um, we can do another one if you... Or you got, no, you got I got good. one for you uh, yeah. because I found him on Instagram and I'd yeah. be fascinated to see if he responds. Uh, Alan Fletcher who oh. plays Dr. Carl Cal, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the long-running uh, Australian oh, soap yeah. opera yeah. Neighbours. Um, oh. So Alan Fletcher, Fletcher is F-L-E-T-C-H-E-R. So find him, and the message I want you to send him is, um, <laughs> as a medical professional, do you know if COVID-19 can be transferred via fleshlight? <laughs> 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 that is great. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's his uh, handle? What's it look like? Well, just put an Alan Fletcher to the search. Uh, anyway, yeah. Oh, that is so good, man. Yeah. So if you if it's too much fucking around, we could just get you to send it after. But he should just be. I love that. Oh man, that's great. You bastard. Yeah. Far out. So yeah, he's I'd just, love it if he was already following you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's there. Um, you, you, have you found it? Yeah. Uh, no, not yet, but I will. I'll right. But yeah. Oh, that is so good. Yeah. Now, Andy, we got some stuff. Oh, can you send me that message as well? Uh, yeah, I don't have it. I just have it written out on the paper. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just say, as a medical professional, do you know if COVID-19 can be transferred via fleshlight? <laughs> 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 He's got 59,000 followers. He's doing well. Apparently wow. he plays in a cover band. Really? To tours England and it just sells out because they're like, oh, Dr. They love, Carl's Yeah, there. they love the neighbours over there, don't they? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's another reason to go on neighbours, buddy. Yeah. You can get you can get the whole British market going. <laughs> yeah, and being what what instrument would you play if you were in Dr. Carl's cover band? Um, what could you bring? I've always been a fan of the uh, what is it the the guitar. Oh yeah, you know the guitar. You look like, that, a, yeah. you look like a ham boner. You know, one of those p- people that just slaps their chest. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I always was bemused by the dancing guy in the Mighty Mighty Boston. I'm uh, not sure if you ever yeah. saw that uh, band. Yeah. yeah, he was there to dance. He just was a larger, portly guy. He could move great. Yeah, yeah. and his whole. I wondered whether he got. There was five of them in the band. I think maybe a few more with some horn section. But I wondered what portion he was getting of ticket sales. You'd hope it'd for, be tambourine player level of. A cut, I, I you think know? above tambourine. <laughs> above tambourine. Would you prefer to go and watch the tambourine or watch this guy dance? I think he brought more to the band. <laughs> He's a hype man. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> name name someone else that that you've gone. Name a band that you've gone. Oh, I remember that band because of the tambourine player. Yeah. Um. There was. There's one. Uh. The. Uh, what is it? Uh. The Brian Jonestown massacre. What? Have you seen that uh, documentary? Dig. No. Yeah. The Brian Jonestown massacre. They they just kind of came up with the Dandy Warhols. And it had, it had like 14 people in the band that always interchanged, had this crazy kind of one guy that would always stay in it. But it was always him and the tambourine guy. Really? That was always there? In it. Okay, so he the band's these... called the Brian Jonestown Massacre. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. Right. I didn't really know the band, band, so I'm like, why is he talking about a massacre? <laughs> 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 because Through my lens you know, yeah. then, I'm like... Man, the band there was great <laughs> before yeah. the massacre. The tambourine player when that cult killed themselves. <laughs> yeah. It was real good. good. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Okay. Um, Need to roll? All right. So you can roll the dice and you can do one of those options. And now, like we touched on briefly before, mm. it's an insane time on social media. Yeah. And obviously, you have a proper career. We don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. Yeah. So we were thinking, I, I guess, a text message oh, yeah. to someone. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. Who are you thinking? So I don't know. I feel like you and Hamish basically have known each other forever. Yeah. So any you, you can't really send anything he'll, he'll to him. He'll know I'm fucking with him. Like yeah. we should go someone uh, yeah. different. Like, the, like yeah. it, it, as soon as there's something... Slightly weird. He'll go. All right. What do you want me to say? Yeah, <laughs> which, which is what I would be doing back to him. Yeah. Unless, um, like, do you have a, a like a friend or something? Do that, you, well, that, I'll float do, this. I'll float this child, for childhood pal, or do you want celebrity? <laughs> well, celebrity would be good, but yeah. we'll float this. Do you want me to tell you the weird people I've got in my phone, and you guys can select? <laughs> that's that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Because. You accumulate numbers over the ride, particularly yeah. in radio. Yeah. yeah, okay. Because people come on and they give you a number and you're like, yeah, well, that guy we might have on the show again. Yeah. Okay, here's some Kamal. <laughs> Do you know who he is? Uh, Vaguely. Yeah. No, that's, yeah. A, that's the one from yesteryear. Yeah. Right. Warwick Kappa. Oh, oh yeah, we got his number. He's yeah. been targeted before. You yeah, guys yeah. know. Okay, Todd Woodbridge, ex-tennis player. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Um. That's good. We've got. I'm trying to find more interesting people here. Uh, no, Toby Puddock, the ex, the, uh, the chef of yesteryear. These right. are people I haven't spoken to for a long yeah, time. Yeah. Right. Um, Should we tell you what the what? Okay, well, I'll give you a uh, a text. Okay. And then you could do this, and then you could pick one of those people. Yeah. Well, I guess. Tell us first how you think Hamish would respond okay, if, yeah, if you send him this picture of E.T. with a female E.T. Mm. and they are uh, the female E.T. is just butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most fucking random thing. Sent in by a listener saying oh, man, you should man, use this. It's so weird. Man, you, so should, weird. you should send that <laughs> to Todd Woodbridge, please. <laughs> and just go a bit of, uh, a bit of light in the dark. <laughs> 
<laughs> a beacon of light in all this darkness. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> certainly weirder for me. I could send that to Haim, but I reckon he'll go. Cool. Cool. Yeah. 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 Certainly weirder to send it to Woody. Uh, uh, to Todd Woodbridge. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, I oh. mean, unless there's someone else that I could think yeah. of, but that's because um, the only other one I had was yeah, yeah. yeah, kind yeah of, with all of this stuff going on, I find it hard not to have impure thoughts about members of my family. <laughs> and then after that, right? Oh, sorry, mate, that wasn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Hayne would think I was fucking with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, it's yeah. a good one. But yeah. we could go to, I could send it to like, I could send it to my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. You fucking totally jumped on board with yeah, this yeah, man. stupid podcast. This is do great. We, yeah. do, we, do we want me to send that to my mum? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, man. We, Mike and I had to um, cut family out of our thing because we just fuck with our families Way too, too much. much. Oh, yeah, it's so yeah, good. Yeah. So it's good to have someone else's family to fuck with. Okay. Okay. Uh, Margaret Lee. <laughs> what am I writing? Uh, with all of this stuff going on. All of this oh, stuff. Oh, this is fucking crazy. I, I did not on. think. On. I find it hard. I'm going to put a comma. I find it hard. Not to have impure not thoughts. to have <laughs> impure oh, thoughts. Jesus. About. Members of my family. Members. <laughs> Of my family, <laughs> so I'll send that now. Oh my and God. then what? Then you say then send, I'll then, then yeah. I'll then I'll wait a few minutes. What? Yeah. Well, she's got read receipts on. Uh, ah. So we should. Do we want her to read it and then me send it, or do we want it to be at a? I think she reads it as soon as you see it's read. Then you go, oh shit, sorry, it's for someone else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. We'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, thank you so much for Jesus. Going And great, if you man. want, send uh, send the ET one to Hamish just to see how he responds. Yeah, okay, okay, great. Yeah, flick, flick, me, flick me the picture. Uh, uh, that's so great. That's so great. Hey guys, good fun. Oh, oh thank dude, you thank so you much, so man. much. Yeah, it was a killer episode. Um, yeah, obviously, it's just great having you on. Mm-hmm. Um, see if you can convince Assange to drop on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd be, I mean, your interview would be better than mine. Anyone's would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank oh, you so much, it. man. She's read it. Oh, okay, oh, quick, okay. quick. With <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Meant for someone else. Yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually send her the oh. ET picture as well. <laughs> someone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, Do we want to call her on speakerphone now and just see what went through her head? I guess if she's... Uh, if she's happy to be she's read that. included. <laughs> let's let's have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes, it's unfolding in real Thank time. You so much, man. Oh, I was just going to write back and say, what is that all about? <laughs> and what impure thought? Are you <laughs> yeah, we were just I was wondering what you were, was going through your head. I'm just doing a podcast and um, it's, it's, uh, it's the Phone Hack podcast. And um, I mean, I know you follow it, Mum, but the uh, <laughs> basic... <laughs> yeah. Please don't. So <laughs> yeah. um, essentially they get control of my phone. Who's they? My friends here, Mike and oh, Cap. Right, right. Yeah. And so, so who are the friends there? Yeah, my, my, my friends who are doing the podcast and they get, to, they get me to send out something and they have to tell me what to send. So that's what I sent to you, but that was on right. there. So just to clarify, I'm not having impure <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> Well, that was what was that's exact. I was just about. I was. Oh, I had just t- held. Excuse my, um, my grammar. I had just held the phone up to write to you and say, "What impure thoughts are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> what What would it, What What came to mind though? Like, if you had to think of an impure thought, what would you What would you be thinking that I was thinking? Oh, that's. That you weren't particularly fussed with some of us. Oh, right. That I was angry and you, with and you, and you did say <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. And you did say that your mother can be annoying a lot. <laughs> no, that's not true at all. That's, so I sweet. Think that's a better way to have taken it. Yeah, that, that, I, that I'm angry with one of you guys. But the, 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 the worst way to take it would be that, that I was having, say, sensual feelings towards any <laughs> oh of you guys. I think that, oh, no, 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 no. None no, of no, 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 you are attractive enough. Exactly, exactly, exactly. 
And I just know that you have often said, and mum, you can be really annoying at times. Oh. <laughs> and, so <I'm, laughs> and I perhaps do take a bit of, um, what's the word, mm-hmm. umbrage at oh, that. Yeah. Great but, word. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was a great word. But, <laughs> um, but I, know, I know I can be. Obviously, I can be annoying. Not at all. Then. I can't. I, I don't know why. It's making me sound like I'm really at you, but uh, not at all. I think you're A1, and I love you, and we've got to go because this podcast is wrapping up. Okay, bye then. Bye. Love you. Bye. Oh, that's bye, good. Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> We've opened up some lines of communication there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How, how am I sounding like? Oh. I know I can be really annoying at times. She can be a little bit. <laughs> well, well, yeah, in 10 years' time, you go, when, when did you think you really reconciled with your mother? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was on the Phone Hacks podcast. <laughs> <laughs> annoying people do say umbrage. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> Oh, man. Again, thank you, thank you, so, thank you much. so much. Capra's Great got a fun. stand-up special people can still get on to. Join the Patreon. Uh, yep. And when stand-up comes back, uh, head out to the clubs. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll I'll, I'll, I'll be there to, to watch. Not to, not to perform. I'm petrified yeah. of what you guys do. You guys yeah. are amazing. But I'll, uh, I'll be there to watch. Oh, and you great. got your podcast, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Andy. Andy podcast, if you're, uh, if yeah. you're interested, um, yeah. check it out. We've been having some fun with that. So good. Great. Yeah. Always number one. Always up there. <laughs> And have a look at the charts. It's always up there, number one. <laughs> yeah, we pay someone. <laughs> yeah, Cambridge Analytica. Actually, that was Assange. The last thing I asked him. <laughs> hey, man, can you hack the podcast <laughs> rankings for me? Thanks very much. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, yeah that's thank it. Thank you so much. Thanks, mate. See you around. Cheers, lads. See ya. Phone hacks.